and guys welcome back to the pixel cherry ninja channel today we are kickstarting a brand new series called good games to play hash brown gGtp uh, this is a series dedicated to looking at games well you know we should play if you're unaware of the games hopefully this bring brings uh, new games uh, to your attention so um, would love to see like a FPGA core of this. I uh, would love to play this on the Mister on the Analog Pocket. It's not available yet, so uh, I'm playing this on RetroArch. But uh, I'm pretty sure you can get this on Mame or you know whatever other kind of emulators you want to use. Um, so this is yeah, this is Asterix. Okay, there. That's his power up. Let's just uh, talk a little bit about the game. So this game has a variety of attacks it has like a double tap move uh, double tap and attack where he kind of launches forward with a fist uh, but also the special move is like a potion that you pick up and it is that like the potion is for asterix and oblix picks up uh, like a bit of meat on the floor so you're you, the, you can't just pick up any power up the power ups that you get are limited to your character so this this game is was released by Konami. It was released in 1992, a few years after the Ninja Turtles games. Uh, the director was uh, Misaka Kukino. The the lead designer uh, was Hiditu Murata. Uh, programmers were Hitoshi Akamatsu and Yuko Ito. So uh, the arcade system, uh, the main CPU was a 68,000. Uh, the sound CPU was a Z Z80 and the sound chips were the Yamaha 2151 and uh, a K053260. Sorry, that, that part I read off Wikipedia, so I don't fully know it myself. But this game is absolutely amazing. Uh, if you have a look at the boss battles here, just, just very, very good. That's <laughs> your kind of, I don't know what that thing's called, but again, formation, but Asterix uh, smashes them up. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, you know, when you finish the level, you get a nice kind of comical scene. Uh, so this game kind of captures the Asterix comic vibe really, really well. Um, also, at the end of the first stage or throughout, you know, when you finish the stage, you're, you're faced with many bonus stages. This one here, where you're in your chariot, you can whip your horse and you have to jump over the obstacles. So a nice variety for a beat em up where you get bonus stages. Uh, we know that there's a number of games uh, that have bonus stages. Final Fight probably had the most famous one, you know, where's my car? After that, I've, anytime I've gone to the seaside, I just haven't parked my car out of here in case it gets smashed. But this bonus stage is a lot of fun. And I just love how you kind of get like a comic book cover, a little bit of a comic once you complete a level okay so the other character in this game is uh, as well as that well asterix uh, you have oblix his friend uh, i love the way he starts off with uh, with that stone in the back if you remember the comics he was often carrying stones now it's been a long time since i've read these comics so i don't fully remember them uh, the way i used to when i was a kid um if you're an 80s kid you definitely know uh, the asterix comics and another series you'd know is tintin <laughs> would love to see a tintin game it was like a boy detective again kissed by a blonde huh that, that 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 just makes the game worth it by itself um so yeah so asterix and tintin were, were like the big comics and these were really good because in our school library where we only had books the only comics we had were asterix and tintin so we kind of read them uh, as uh, as kids and also in the 80s we didn't have the entertainment uh, that we do now we haven't got streaming we didn't have the internet so you were kind of limited to your entertainment and i remember like you kind of went through all the choices of every bit of entertainment you kind of had out there uh even even you know reading these comics books it, it was a great thing they were really 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 well written books uh good comics and this game is very very true to it just the way he walked with his kind of hands behind his back the way you kind of attack the romans and uh you know once you attack them the way they, the way they kind of crawl off it's just very very comical very very um very very true to the comic uh the special moves in here yeah the game doesn't have like a two button special uh you know which you're kind of used to in a lot of beat-em-ups especially the capcom ones uh but you've got power-ups you've got power-ups that you pick up and uh, those power-ups are um uh, what kind of give you your attacks so the levels kind of vary uh, as you can see this level here we've got like <laughs> indiana john's kind of balls uh chasing you're not as big but you've got loads of those little boulders when you get hit by them again it's very comical you kind of get smashed by them but hey you can you know jump over them uh quite easily it's not too difficult it's not like like a big cheating part that you get in the arcades it is very very doable you know um and uh yeah so there's other aspects as well let's have a look at some of those Okay, so some of the other aspects you've got here, you've got like a, 
I love the animation when they get squashed. Uh, but you've got these kind of platformy bits, which, for me, I haven't really seen um, platformy bits in beat em ups. Uh, let me know in the comments if there's other games uh, that kind of do have platformy bits uh, in beat em ups, especially arcade games. There may have been some console ones like that. Um, but yeah, none are coming to mind anyway. It's not to say uh, that there aren't any. I've, I've got a bad memory. I forget a lot of stuff. Uh, so yeah, it's got it's got a platformy base that kind of gives it another kind of unique feature. So but this game's got a nice kind of beat em up part. It's got the bonus stages, um, and uh, it's got like your 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 kind of normal beat em up. So uh, we've got those little um, tiles on the floor that look suspect. And when you walk over them, <laughs> uh, what was that into? Oh, who turned down the lights? Um, so you've got, you know, that was in a Konami game, so that, that kind of follows suit, and uh, here you go, just keep falling down there, probably got to crack the third one too, but uh, yeah, it definitely, definitely adds a, a unique touch to the game, and uh, a little bit of floor you definitely want to dodge, as you can see, the enemies are very, very light, they're immune to it, they don't fall into it, uh, but uh, you know, you do. Okay, as you can see, uh, there's an asterisk uh, power up on the floor there, which is a potion. Oblix cannot pick that up. Oblix can only pick his up when up, which he does. And uh, it just kind of makes you just really, really fast and attack him. Uh, to be honest, I find it quite hard uh, to control. But that's the, that's the power-ups for this game. Okay, I love that spinny, spinny attack. It looks really good. But you've got Asterix <laughs> power up there, which again, makes him run really, really fast. Kind of like a waste there just with one enemy. But it lasts very, very short. I, I kind of feel like something better could have been done for the power up. I just feel like as often as you kind of get them and the kind of use you get for them, it's just kind of very, very limited. Uh, I should just really watch like a, you know, like a top gameplay, um, top gameplay footage of this game. I'm sure it's utilized better than, than I do. And uh, going back to like to the kind of design of the game, it's got some really interesting parts. So this is still kind of like platformy. We kind of jump from ship to ship. Uh, and uh, you've got shark infested waters that you're going through. Definitely like unique uh, for a beat em up. Um, yeah, very, very good. Uh, really, really enjoyed it. And I think it just looks, you know, absolutely fantastic. Okay, another bonus stage uh, in this game. Uh, Street Fighter fans rejoice, we get to smash barrels. And uh, who doesn't like smashing barrels? International rule of gaming, you see a barrel, you smash it. This was even carried over into modern games when you see a barrel, you shoot it and it explodes. Old games, you just kind of punch it. Not very vegan or vegetarian friendly, as there's a lot of pork in there. Uh, but yeah, man, like, still interesting. A nice bonus stage, uh, a nice little touch to the game. Uh, some would say even perfect. Okay, so uh, another like part of the game where you're kind of descending up a mountain via these cliffs uh, makes the game yeah, again very very interesting. You've got, kind of got like no, not not really too difficult, and <laughs> when the, when you when you go near the when you go near that nest, those kind of birds come diving in for you. Uh, but again, like just just absolutely love it. Kind of uh, very very true to the comic, the way it kind of sounds, and uh, yeah, just the way uh, yeah the way it plays, just just really really nice. Uh, another set piece to enjoy is uh, this over here. It's not quite a bonus stage, but uh, yeah, man, like you, you go, you go, <laughs> you go down these casts, and uh, you kind of got to jump into the right one. Clearly, I don't. Um, but yeah, again, it adds an interesting kind of feature to it. You know, like like, like this kind of stuff was really good in the arcade where you played a game, and you know when you had this stuff running on a track mode, and you watch someone else playing it. It just looked. I don't know how to describe it. It just looked magic when you're in the arcade, and uh, and you saw this stuff. Uh, I don't know if my gameplay was magic though, this, <laughs> this is just really, really bad. You, Whoopsie, he's a happy guy. <laughs> okay, having a look at some of the bosses in this, just, just really, really nicely done. Here you've got like an Egyptian guy <laughs> who kind of shoots you with a laser beam that turns you into a pig and he's kind of like striking you with lightning. Bosses in this game are really, really good. Okay, so yeah, more bosses. We've got uh, two of the guys here. Now, again, my memory, it's been a long time since I've read the Asterix books. I don't remember who these characters are uh, on the ship. But again, boss battles are really, really good in this. I'm not going to show you all the bosses because I think you guys should check this game out for yourselves. Uh, I'm, like I said, I was playing this. I'm, I am playing this on RetroArch. Uh, it'll be available on MAME as well. And uh, I really hope that one day it does make it over to like the Mister and the Analog Pocket because, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm loving how many games I've got for the FP, uh, for the Mister and uh, the analog pocket and you know fpga gaming in general and what's around if 
if I wasn't to get any more games for it, I would still be happy with the content that I've got. But you know what? It's always nice getting new cores, getting new stuff out there. Uh, but for now, enjoy this game, play it, test it out, and uh, hopefully, uh, you know, the future will bring us more implementations of this. Okay, guys, that kind of uh, wraps it up for this episode of Good Games to Play. Uh, like I said, uh, recommend me some games. Uh, I'm always interested in new games that I may have missed. Uh, whatever machine, whatever arcade, uh, just recommend me them. Um, if you do enjoy this kind of content, then if you're not subscribed to the channel, then subscribe to the channel. Uh, that's the best way you can support it. Uh, as always, guys, thank you for your time. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Pixel Cherry Ninja out.